We're on. Hello folks, time for a uh, hibernation special roundup thingy, whatever. Um, let's go over all my natives, that's, that's good, fine, okay. So this is um, a small Lazius niger colony that I've put into this wacky Chinese nest that I've had for about three years, or two and a half, three years. Back in the days when I thought light really, really mattered, how much how I put those extra bits of film on there. Anyway, it's a tiny little colony down there, don't think we're going to see much of them. I made this decision about two weeks ago. Yeah, they've moved in anyway. Um, that's the horrible cotton out there tube, so I sort of dumped them in. I don't know what that is. Well, I left a piece of cotton sort of in the entrance, but they could just keep it just about getting in. Um, but my craft, these are Lazio's Niger, so my crafty plan, which has already actually worked, because I stupidly forgot to put that stopper in. Put them in this, got to put the soccer, put them in the downstairs toilet, and kept finding uh, Lazio's Niger at the wall. And I just thought it was because this nest leaks like a sieve with uh, Fidolis. I think I've. I think it's just Fidolis I've had in here, and it's just a nightmare. They've got tape and I've actually um, acrylic sealed the edges of this, but not the not the absolute top, not that bit. Just I've acrylic sealed the outward. It loosens off too much, it's one of these held together with elastic bands. Anyway, um, this is my crafty plan of this, so even if the Lazzy is nice to get out, look how perfect that is. It just fits perfectly in this um, little tub. So that's an extra, a proper decent barrier on there. It doesn't really matter how they get in and out of that. That's the plan for that anyway. Um, here we go. This is another cheap Chinese nest I've had for ages. It did actually work with messes. It did really well with the messes and I tried to move them and kill them. The knob. It's a small three queen colony of Lazius Niger. One of the best ones of the sort of don't know, eight colonies I had to choose from. So I thought I'll just stick them in there. Because they might like that. They're going through there, you see, and they've got this uh, humidity here. I know it's supposed to be rubbish, but it's told me it's rubbish. But there's little gates I can keep opening as the colony gets bigger, it's the theory. I'll nick the uh, stopper for that, <laughs> put in the other one. Until I upgrade the tetras, I haven't got any more stoppers. Um, this is the miraculous. Looks like they always look like there's loads of dead that hanging around. I don't clean them out to be honest, but they're not. They're not all dead. And this is the miraculous colony of Lazius flavus, which I sort of rescued basically from a root system around Christmas time. I think no, it was after Christmas time. I don't know. They weren't. High, I don't think they were. It was in the cold. They weren't. They would have been hibernating, but they were in this root system, and I had to get rid of the root system basically, so that either go in the bin or I spent three hours digging through it. Anyway, the point is, they should all be dead by now because there wasn't a queen, but I did try and introduce a queen basically, um, back in, not long after they came out of hibernation, so that'd be March, April time, something like that, I put a queen in there. Well, I put two queens in there and they definitely killed one after a few days and the other one I've just not seen. But the fact there's still were alive workers after this time, I don't know how long they actually live, but that seems like a... I didn't expect them to still be going, but anyway they are. And this is another three queen clavus. We've got workers and all that. Yeah. Just a small three queen clavus colony that I've put into a um, Venus, basically. Just because I had one, well I've had a few knocking about and I'm, just, I'm going to make the most of my my uh, native ants, basically, I've decided. I'm just ignoring him too much. This is my naturalist ish Lazarus Niger, and I don't even see him anymore. I think they've definitely they've either hibernated or died. No, no, no. Okay, that's not dead, is it? They're still living this test tube, and I'm not bothered trying to move them out. Yeah, they're down there. They're doing alright. No reason to actually think they've died out other than um, not seeing them for And they live in this sort of natural setup. There's loads of ice pods in there, that's probably why they live in the test tube still. Well, maybe not. They're in Nazareth Niger. So they're going in first in a minute. I'll show you the setup. Um, well, that's just what was the um, Mimica. La, 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 la. Anyway, these are the Rubra. The Rubra I didn't think even existed anymore, but then a few weeks ago I found fresh eggs. Look. Look at that. Some larvae, isn't it? You see it? So I've actually got a rubra colony here, which I wasn't, I, I thought they'd just died out. I, I collected about 50 workers and, I don't know, I can't remember how many, one massive queen basically, who's walking around with her own food with the rest of them. Is on a 
a big fight and they were killing off the Lazarus Niger and the Lazarus Fravus Queens and sort of feasting on them. And I caught one genuine big queen. I caught a few of the winged ones. Um, I don't know if I caught any more off the ground, but that sort of looks like I've got some life in them, basically. Nearly everything else died off. And then what, um, yeah, in here. These are just the sort of, this year I'm doing it with, uh, okay, I've got one backup Lazarus Niger colony in there. So they're going to go hibernating. Everything else in here is uh, Flavus. I can't remember any. Quite a lot. I went through them the other day and fed them and stuff. That doesn't look good though, does it? Anyway, they're all ready to go. They've all been fed about two weeks ago now, last time. Apart from that Lazarus Niger there. But now it's time. This is the box. So it's a cardboard box that I've lined with polystyrene. And then I've got quite a lot of bubble wrap here to make up the space. This is my new ant keeping super super tool. I'll be wearing those every time I plan on touching any feeders or going into the uh, setups. It doesn't really matter right now because either I'm not doing any feeding stuff. So I think everything's just ready to go. Can I pick this up one handed? It should fit, I don't think. <laughs> Makes it sound like I thought this through, but that might not have fitted. Okay. So that's that, and then just the biggest things first, I think. I don't know how, is this interesting viewing? Watching me put everything away? Maybe, I don't know. Put them in there. And we've got there. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's working. Oh, would this fit it in here perfectly? That would be nice. Go on, go on. It does, it does. Okay, so that's cool. Um, are you going to fit in there nicely? Not quite. Mm, no. It needs to not really rock around there, doesn't it? And then the only thing I've got left is that little... I, I don't... I, I don't have high hopes for them. I'm just thinking that if the still works alive, I might try introducing the Queen. Anyway, 